Do you want early access? Do you want uncut reactions? If so, then check out our Patreon. Link in the description down below. You know those moments when you take action and you think, wow, I actually did something good, only to be met with, like, an absolute torrent of hatred and just bitterness over what you just did? No. Okay, good. <laughs> uh, at least you don't have to know what that's like. I, I did that a long time ago. I did something that I thought my dad wanted. Turns out I was completely wrong. I reorganized his, uh, his, like, shed and everything. Like, I, like, put all the tools and stuff in, like, like, what I thought would be the right areas and everything. He's like, well, son, I wanted to do that after I fixed the shed. But now we gotta move it all out and then put it back again. So before you do something, maybe you should check and see that it's good to go before you do something. And I learned a very valuable lesson about trying to do too much too fast and winding up, like, messing things up for people. I think I, that's just been uh, something I have to learn because my brain automatically second guesses everything I do. And therefore, I always usually ask somebody when I'm doing something if that sounds good to them. You know? Yeah, I get you. My dad didn't get mad at me. I I did. I shouldn't say like like bitterness and like you know a torrent of anger. But yeah, this long drawn out conversation has been brought to you by nothing because it almost has nothing to do with what is going on in Overlord. So thinking you did something right and then you get like a torrent of hate and stuff and I was like, I only got like a torrent of hate and criticism like over stuff that I've said on the channel from the comment section sometimes. Well that's 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 and I, you know, it wasn't yeah. like I thought I did something great or anything before it happened. I was just kinda like I had an opinion that I'm not surprised that people are being dickheads about because some fan bases are just toxic like that and if you don't agree with their opinion you're an asshole to them. <laughs> yeah. Either way, though, the lords basically held a coup and killed the king, and Ainz is just like, I actually respected this guy. You all I have no love for. You're all gonna die horribly, and rightfully so. Anyway. They're probably not even gonna die horribly. They're gonna be tortured for an inordinate amount of time. Yeah. And it's like, even when they beg for death, their deaths will not be painful. Or their deaths will not be painless. Here we go. Captain goes down with the ship, I guess. I admire the bravery. I do. I mean, I really think he's... <laughs> A lot. <laughs> yeah, bow down, fool. え、密を前にあなたたちを回収しに来にした。の一人でアリンスね。え、あ、いはい。何でしょうか。では、給付校の部屋送りでアリンス。は、あ、だ。ゲート。Sorry. Oh boy. Just to you to grow this. Oh. <laughs> What's him in the suit? Huh. Oh. Chain Dragon Light on the car. Oh, no, no, no. Nah. Yeah. <laughs> You're not the only one who can fly. その武器の力調べさせてもらおうよ。はい。魔法が得て意外に飛び落とされてしまったら魔法で攻撃するわよね。ダメージ。この魔法が私にレジストできないとでも。
、うん、遅いな言うはずは、うん、エクスプロードマインおう立っていたと思うのかまだ余裕があるようだな MP は全くない純粋な戦士かエイヤー完絶障壁今のは HP をかなり消費したようだが Save all the cast with his HP as the cast, I guess. Oh, yeah, he's talking about the. テレポーテーションテレスケープイコールはこの結果を発表しまたこの結果をの結果を発表しまたこの結果を発表しまたこの結果を発表しましたおお、すごい。やっているということか。ああ、そう、he's not actually in the armor。seems that way。all the great of thunder。most likely he had to give the armor an amount of magical power to control it from a distance。Yeah. And each time he casts something, it takes away from that power, and when he runs out, the armor will be. The armor will cease. Yeah, the armor will just be、uh, armor again. I'd say mostly he's trying to test Ions out, but it seems like he's strong enough that the test is going pretty well for him. I don't know if Ions is still playing with him or if Ions is actually having trouble, but yeah, anyway. <laughs> Really? <laughs> What? Eins! Seriously, dog? Oh my god! Taskyotosta, what is that you are good to you, Nuka? Oh my touch, you are Yari Sunita. Subato, what is that you know, Konochkara? I am a Tia Hajiman. Dunga, you do so a corner. Oh my no say you go to a mokunin de Kirai. You any. I'm wondering if he、uh, did that partially just to give her time. Maybe. It doesn't look like it. Her to stop. Really? I think he was low on HP. <laughs> I guess he was saying I'll have you perish here before she came in. Now he knows that he's up against two of them that he doesn't have a chance. Yeah. He actually got away from her somehow. Yeah. <laughs> That explains why he's controlling the armor remotely because he's that dragon guy that we saw forever ago. That was. I forgot they had talked about the platinum armor being something to do with him. I kept wondering. Did you catch that? Yeah. 
Perea and NPC. NPC. Uh, I was wondering what that sound was. Turns out it's Asher snoring back oh, there. Yeah. He's yeah. just going like. To a Mado, when you are Riku Aganea Tona Notana, over to it a career guy. Riku Aganea Nanika, you ride the Marnoko. Yeah, no, you. Foot to Kandanamayo, Sonoma Matskata da Kesa. Nanamayo Jimbus Maitara, she's only Mela Ko Kakarokotonina. Ask you pray ya, Testono Tadaka in his sonate. It has any send you call Ushinaita Kua Naikarane. Pray. Huh? Oh. That wasn't the. Oh, that wasn't even him. <laughs> no wonder he was having problems. And I was wondering why his behaviors, like him, like him begging, you're like, no, 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 yeah, let me finish yeah, this, yeah, please. Yeah, yeah. I was like, that makes sense now. I get it now. <laughs> Well, shit. Yeah, I would say if that actually had been Ainz there, that the armor wouldn't have stood any chance at all. No. I figured that there had to be something. There had to be some crux to why. Uh man. But to be honest, after all of this time and everything, I think... That's the first episode of the show I would probably give a 10. Oh, really? Yeah. I think this is my favorite episode, hands down, that I've seen of this show so far. It's a, this was a great episode. There were some episodes that I came like up to a 9, at least, before. Oh, yeah. yeah. Like the uh, one where uh, Intoma and uh, the maids were like doing the whole thing with... Um, and uh, Demiurge was pretending to be um, uh, Yaldabaoth. Yeah, Yaldabaoth and everything like that. That those episodes were like nines for sure. Yeah. And uh, a lot of the ones like involving like the um, that group of uh, heroes, like with the masked girl and everything. I like those episodes. A lot. Yeah. Yeah, but like I would say overall, like this, uh, the episodes of the show have gone between like five and nine different times and this is the first one I would say was like a really awesome episode and I'm just like this was cool yeah. I like this one a lot <laughs> same dude and I also feel like uh, I really want to go back now if any show could ever benefit from some flashbacks occasionally this I think this show could because it's written in a way that brings things up and then lets them kind of just disappear into the background for a long time. Yeah. And then when they're brought back up again, I'm just like, oh, I, I don't remember all the details of when that was first brought up, though. So, like, I want to see that scene again from the beginning of, I think, season three. Yeah, I think That they so. showed where it was either season three or even season two, maybe. It might have been the beginning of season two since we've seen that guy. Platinum Dragon. Yeah, but, like, I don't remember, like, what the lady looked like he was talking to and what they were saying and stuff. But I've been waiting this whole time for them to bring that back up, and I was wondering when that was going to happen. And here we are. And it took forever. <laughs> it did, but, yeah. Yeah, this was a cool-ass episode, for sure. I agree. This was, this surprised me genuinely with how good this was. And, I mean, they're, like, well-prepared traps. There were, in fact, some... Well prepared, well prepared traps, but honestly, dude, I mean, it wouldn't surprise me. Like, Ainz knew that would happen. That's why him and Pan, that's why he sent Pandora's actor and Albedo out there, and it worked. These seasons are short, aren't they? Yeah. So we're almost at the end of the season already. Yeah. Crap. Because yeah, like episode more. twelve, Invasion of the War Royal Capital. Like I'm betting, like this next episode might be just as good. We'll see. If they keep up this pacing with it and, like, this much interesting stuff happening, like, this will be an awesome ending to the season at the very least. Well, keep in mind, dude, this is uh, rated the best season. Yeah. Everyone says that this season is I the mean, best season. Yeah, and, and so to be far, honest, everything I've seen from this season up to this point, I would still rate it probably at the same level as the previous season. But, like, this episode... Now I, would, now I would start to be on that page. They're like, yeah, I could say this is probably the best season because of this episode. And if the next yeah. two episodes are just as good, then, like, yeah, that, that would easily net this best season for sure. <laughs> well, I guess uh, we might as well just go ahead and uh, end it here. So, 
everyone, thank you all so much for uh, checking this out with us. Uh, this was Overlord Season 4, Episode 11, Well-Prepared Traps. And, uh, yeah, I guess we're going to see y'all on the next one. So until then, I'm Nate. I am Nick. Y'all be good people. Take care. Peace.